How many more are out there? Three artists and a process server. <laughs> Something about taking the copier machine back. Oh, terrific. That's just what I need. Well, don't worry. I'll stall him. Bob, thank you for giving up your day. That's okay. I only had morning classes anyway. Besides, I had nothing big planned. It's my dog's birthday, but that's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Ms. Romano, I forgot to tell you it just came in. The U.S. Marshal. I'm going to debtor's prison. <laughs> oh, a woman. <laughs> and I mean a woman. Her name's Francine Webster. Francine Webster? Yeah, and she looks terrific. She would. <laughs> what she's doing here? <laughs> Probably the vulture in charge of dying ad agencies. <laughs> okay, okay, Bob, show her in. No, uh, Bob, wait a minute. Just, uh, just wait a minute. Okay. Oh, glad you like it, Sam. Yeah, the ads are all <laughs> placed, that's right. $100,000 for the first quarter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, love you too, Sam. Bye. <laughs> well, well, look who it is, for goodness sake. And hello. Was that for my benefit, or was there really a Sam on the other end of the phone? <laughs> Ms. Romano doesn't play games. Oh, that's true. But I'm not against him. <laughs> oh, oh, God. If I only hadn't been through my football hero period, we could make some long passes together. Well, Anne, I see that you haven't <laughs> Oh, a couple of extra pounds, but you certainly haven't grown an inch. <laughs> Thank you, Francine. What brings you here besides your broomstick? <laughs> <laughs> broomstick? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it's old, but it's good. <laughs> I think I'll go rearrange the artists. <laughs> well... Uh I have some wonderful news for you. Oh, do you have to leave? <laughs> <laughs> Anne, you and I are going to be partners. <laughs> uh, no, now try to control yourself. I realize this is a chance of a lifetime for you. <laughs> partners. <laughs> you and I, partners. Francine, you are really bizarre. <laughs> now, I realize that we've had our little differences in the past. Uh, differences? Francine, let me try to couch this in the most diplomatic of terms. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we would uh, need larger quarters. China wouldn't be large enough for us. <laughs> oh, my desk can go right here. You're not listening. Oh, yes, I, I heard every word. I also heard through the grapevine that you are desperately looking for a new partner. Here I am. Francine. Connors and Davenport finally canned you, didn't they? Where did you hear that? They would have killed to keep me. Ah. <laughs> Just as I thought. I walked out of there on my own accord. A woman can only get so far working for men. No way, Francine. There is no possible way that we could work together. But we did at Connors and Davenport. Oh, okay, so we fought, but... Well, every account they put us on made money. Oh, Anne, you're as creative as hell. And, well, I can sell anything. I mean, with your ads and my charm, charisma, and exquisite social graces. Not to mention humility. Yes, that too. Uh, the artists are getting restless out there. I'm afraid they might start cutting their ears off. <laughs> okay, Bob, Francine was just leaving. Oh. Well... Think it over, Anne. Okay, thought it over. Answers no. <laughs> well, I'll be getting back to you. Not necessary. How about me? I'm in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Under what? Tubalescence. <laughs> well, that's the first place I would have looked. <laughs>